Welcome to LMC Media and our community conversations, especially this time of the uh, coronavirus and how it's impacting our community. With me today are uh, Gerandi Martinez, who is the Executive Director of the Community Resource Center, and with her is Janet Fry, the Deputy Executive Director. Welcome to you both. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. You're welcome. And um, Gerandi, let me start with you for some folks who have heard of the CRC but are not sure what it does or who it serves. Can you quickly tell us your mission and what you do? Absolutely. So we are a community-based organization that's been operating for the last 22 years in Mamaroneck and Larchmont. Um, our mission is really to empower the new immigrant and low-income communities of Westchester. And we are, I want to say in these times, uh, in this really difficult time, CRC has really been positioned well um, to respond to this pandemic. Uh, our case managers are extremely experienced in this work. Uh, and so the, the work that we're doing around emergency assistance and responding to the community is really what we are ready to do um, and, and ready to respond to. So while CRC has shifted our, our focus a little bit because we focus on, on workforce development and, and empowerment, um, we've also always done uh, case management and, and emergency assistance. So I think that we are really well positioned right now um, to respond to the community. And I, I welcome anybody who has more questions or needs to contact us to please do so. Janet, let me ask you, how has the community been affected by the uh, virus? Oh my gosh, this um, virus outbreak has been, um, has impacted our community at many different levels. Uh, we have received phone calls from community members experiencing anxiety, being concerned about their jobs, their incomes, having their children at home, and kind of like um, struggling, uh, dividing time to work from home and also help, help their children. There is the scare of the unknown. Uh, there's so much information out there in terms of how they can prevent to spread the virus. And, but still, some people don't have access to masks or gloves, or, or, and they are just scared to go out. So there's a lot of anxiety. And so we, don't, we were, trying to, uh, were trying our case managers to provide some kind of um, information, but also uh, some kind of crisis intervention for them to be able to uh, stay calm and, and be okay, especially because this is, um, this is something to, that is hard to wrap your head around. So we're trying to manage this on a daily basis. Randy, I know that CRC has a number of community partners. Can you tell us uh, uh, ex exactly how some of you, uh, the, your partners and you are responding? Absolutely. So um, our community partners, and we've always uh, really worked on this model that um, what we can do to support the community, we can definitely do together. Um, and so we're so lucky to live in a, in a community where everybody's willing to support and help one another. And so the, we've all supported creating this um, coalition for community. It involves CRC. It involves the local food pantry, the STEM Alliance of Larchmont, here are the Coalition for Undoing Racism, the Village of Mamaroneck, all of these different organizations, St. John's of Larchmont, St. Thomas in Mamaroneck, all of these different community-based organizations that are willing to put our heads together to respond to the food insecurity, um, rental assistance need, uh, medical needs, the cost of Medicare. So we are, CRC, for example, is doing an emergency assistance fund. Um, and we're raising money to be able to support our community with that. Um, but on, on Friday, if anybody caught or, or heard, uh, there was a very successful emergency food drive and food distribution where we all partnered together to give out 411 food bags for those in need, 300 masks, and it can only be done when we all do it together. And so I think that that really speaks to how well our community partners 
work um, and work in, in unison and, and the fact that we're all able to, to you know, put everything aside and, and respond to the need um, when, when there is one. And, and so I'm looking forward to continuing to work with them. Uh, we've always had such a beautiful history of, um, of partnering together. And, and so that's, that's how, how Mamaronic and Larchmont work is we and I'm, I'm happy that LMC uh, Media is also one of your partners. Absolutely. We're helping to get the word out. Uh, will your organization be able to help uh, some of the people who have questions about getting financial aid from the state or the county or the federal government? Absolutely. So <clears throat> Janet can join me in this in this question. We anybody who has um, who has a question and, and is in need should call us uh, because we have case managers working around the clock to screen, to offer resources and support, um, to redirect people who can probably get some stimulus funding um, or another organization that's focusing on that. Um, but we're also working on screening who, who is in need now and, and what supports are they currently getting, what supports are they not getting. Um, so for example, if Janet and, and the team are assessing that somebody is a domestic violence victim, and um, is also uh, has been laid off from work and and is a low-income family already that's somebody who's really priority um, and so we are absolutely uh, documenting who needs to get support now and then who can wait a little bit but I encourage um, people who are experiencing um, you know loss of work or, or we're already having trouble paying their rent um, you know have a question uh, are, are having symptoms but maybe don't have health insurance to call us. Mm -hmm. Janet, do you want to add anything to that? Yes, and, um, and what Durandi is saying, you know, that the case managers are doing all of that, we also have a resource list, and on, on that resource list, we try to update it on a daily basis because we know that the government is coming out with, it, with an announcement, um, you know, every day, so we want to make sure that the community is getting information up to date. But it also includes, you know, information about um, the moratorium on evictions, for example, or CONED um, shutting down, um, avoiding shutdowns for now until further notice. So then community members are dealing with this with less anxiety and knowing that the, the, our government understands that, you know, this crisis is big and that they don't have to worry about those payments now, household payments, that they have to worry about keeping themselves uh, fed and, and, and together at home and try not to go out as much as possible. I know that even before this virus hit, you folks were working on the census and trying to make sure that everybody in the Maranek Village, especially in your community, is counted. It, does that work go on? It does go on, and thank you for bringing that up. I think we all are, are still really uh, mentioning don't forget about the census. Of course, this is a really uh, intense moment, and it's 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 taking up a lot of our mind space. Um, but we are still working really hard to get everybody counted. Our team is incredible. 60% um, of them are sick, and they're still working from home and learning, uh, uh, making ways possible for people to call in. So for example, if, if you received your census letter and um, you're having trouble navigating the internet system, or you just have a question and you'd like somebody to help you, you can call us and we will um, help you fill out the form with you on the phone um, in English and in Spanish. Um, so anybody who's having trouble, please uh, don't let that um, stop you. We have services available. We've really changed our strategy um, to do a hotline kind of um, census hub uh, because you matter and you deserve to get counted and, and we're really still pushing this. So don't forget to fill out your census. Would you, uh, one of you, be able to deliver some of this information in Spanish right now? At least sure, we're, Janet, we're do you want to do that? That's a good idea. Okay, yes, claro que sí. Este, si nuestra comunidad tiene, eh, está enfrentando una situación difícil ahora mismo, por favor llámenos, estamos aquí para apoyarlos, sea con una necesidad que tenga o si quiere llenar el censo, por favor, Llama nuestro número 914-835-1512. Aquí estamos. 
Thank you very much to Randy Martinez from the Community Resource Center and Janet Fry from the Community Resource Center. We're so happy that you could be with us and please come back again uh, with any updates or any other information that you want to get out to the public. We're happy to help. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. LMC Media, <laughs> always there for us, always there for the community. We would be lost without you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.